questions such as this one, 5 times 60, are really easy to do if you just simplify the question first and then add the zeros back later. How we do this is if we don't know 5 times 60, what we can do is we can remove the zero for a minute. Well, now we have 5 times 6 and we know that that equals 30. Then all you do is you simply take the zero that you had taken out and add it onto the end and that will give you your answer. So for 5 times 60, the answer was 300. Then if we have 50 times 60, we would do the same thing. We go 5 times 6 equals 30. We steal these two zeros and we tack them onto the end here, which makes our answer for 50 times 60, 3000. More example, you can see 500 times 60 and we still have this original one of 5 times 6. We steal the zeros. So 5 times 6 is 30. And then we tack on our three zeros that we stole. And then we would have 30,000 as our answer. So although this trick doesn't work for all math equations, for ones that end in zeros like that, it works really well.